Particularly artistic vaults are a central feature of late Gothic architecture. Spatial curve systems, intersections at different levels. The seemingly load-bearing structural elements are suspended. Some ribs are even severed. At first glance, all this appears to contradict the rules of gravity and of reason. Looking more closely at these spectacular buildings, a lot of questions come to mind. How did the builders envision that these structures would have the necessary stability? How were they able to design and plan these three-dimensional entities? And once the idea had been born in the mind of a brilliant master builder, how was the information transmitted from design to construction, to the stonemasons and other craftsmen, enabling every single stone to be correctly produced and accurately assembled? All this only with the methods available at the time, without modern mechanics, without computer modeling, and with geometrical knowledge that was fundamentally different from that which we use today. Without the answers to these questions, it's impossible to restore these monuments with full fidelity to the original. The knowledge with which these 500-year-old buildings were created needs to be rediscovered and safeguarded in order to preserve the architectural heritage. With funding from the European Research Council, scientists at the University of Dresden will be able to understand the working methods used by late Gothic architects. The buildings themselves are the starting point through surveys, analyses, and by looking for geometrical traces, and by working backwards through reverse engineering, reconstructing the design starting from the finished building. On the basis of the hypotheses developed, we then work forward. The individual steps are reproduced and compared with the original, often by carrying out one-to-one -one scale experiments. In collaboration with experts from the workshop of Strasbourg Cathedral, we reconstruct the procedures by which cutting of the individual stones was derived from the architectural design. Using geometric constructions on the tracing floor and flexible templates, the stones of a curvilinear rib are produced. As in the original, they fit together perfectly. The intersection stones can also be reproduced with this historical procedure. We were thus able to look over the master builder's shoulder at all stages of the work and pass on the rediscovered knowledge to apprentices and trainee master stonemasons. This historical knowledge can now be safeguarded again in the workshops of several great cathedrals and made available for restoration work.